I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. And today we're in one of the Condi Systems print labs here at our headquarters, and you'll see the backdrop here is a sublimation backdrop we created. And today what we're doing is, is showing you the brand new Epson F-Series sublimation printers. And it's my honor to introduce Mickey Unsworth. Mickey has been associated with our company for 18 years, and he's probably one of the most knowledgeable sublimation folks on the planet. He's the teacher of the teacher. And he's going to tell you a little bit about the awesome new printers from Epson. Now, when we first started doing sublimation, probably 21 years ago, um, we used Epson printers because they had the magic piezo printhead. Well, all these years, Epson has sat on the sideline when it comes to embracing sublimation. Yes, we use their printers, but they never had an official sublimation offering until very recently. And Epson came to us a few years back, and they did let us know in you know secret terms that they finally were going to get into the sublimation area. And we were able to make a few of our own suggestions there to talk about what we wanted. And I can tell you what, they have an excellent print offering. And Mickey's going to tell you a little bit about introduction. Then we're going to take and have a string of videos that walk you through everything you ever wanted to know about the new Epson F-Series sublimation printers. And so Mickey introduce you. Thank yes. you for being here. Thank you, David. Uh, let's talk a little bit sure. about what your experience has been with so far with these F-Series and talk about what Epson has done to change the face of sublimation. Well, with regards to the F-Series, uh, the F is uh, indicative for fabric. Uh, they offer two units. They offer a 44-inch unit as well as a 64-inch unit. Uh, what we're finding is that uh, on the popularity scale, the 44-inch unit fits a lot more of the guys as an intermediary step to go from a desktop application to a wide format application. But one of the beautiful things in working with Epson on this, this particular machine was built from the ground up to be used solely for sublimation. So it does entail utilizing Epson sublimation inks in a large capacity, one and a half liter capacity here, and they have their own branded Epson paper and available widths from 17 inches to 44 inches. Uh, the wonderful thing about this machine, uh, it's priced competitively uh, at $84.95 and it is inclusive of the printer, a roll of paper, an additional maintenance tank that you'll need during installation, and the ink delivery system, and four full liters of inks along with the chipset that go with them. Uh, it also would come inclusive with uh, Wasatch, which is the RIP, Raster Image Processing Software, that is the liaison between your graphic application and the printer itself. Um, so all of that is included. Now the, the, the Condi value that we're doing this, obviously we have learned this printer from the ground up and through our color department here at Condi and people like Mickey and, and myself, we have learned to run this printer and get results out of it that is tremendous. We've built our own print environments, our own color profiles, and just our expertise at the years of sublimating as far as heat press techniques and things like that um, have yielded, yielded awesome results. Don't you think? Yes, that's true, David. Uh, the machine is extremely fast. Um, out of the box, Epson is rating it at, uh, for a high quality print mode, which is a 720 by 1440 at about 89 square foot an hour. Uh, but for most applications, the 720 by 720 print resolution, uh, we're approaching high speeds of uh, 225 square foot an hour. It does have inherent support for a lower res 360 by 360, which puts out almost uh, about 618 square foot an hour. However, domestically in the United States, um, it's far, few and far between for clients that would actually be running it at that print resolution. Most of them opt to run the 720 by 720 or for what we've been working on internally here is a higher print resolution, better quality to be able to utilize it on rigid substrates such as the Chromalex aluminum. What's the cost of ownership of this printer? Actually, David, that's a very good question. Uh, the F-Series are engineered since they've got their own Epson inks and they do come in a liter. Um, the MSRP for a liter of ink is a $125. Uh, 
So if you combine that with the cost of the paper being on a roll, when you run the cost estimator through Wasatch, which will give you to the penny what it costs per square foot, um, the average that I've been running is a remarkable 16 to 18 cents per square foot printed, ink and paper. And that is awesome. Mickey, what are some of the kinds of applications that the F-Series printers are going to be perfect for? Well, first and foremost, what it was designed for was for fabric, for cut and sew applications, for jerseys, for cycling, paintball, softball, baseball. Uh, but what other people are finding are for doing large uh, production runs of smaller items because you don't, you know, just because you have this larger printer, uh, you can do a lot of uh, cost-effective printing for smaller substrates, whether it be for mouse pads, uh, cell phone cases, uh, keychains, uh, other koozies. promotional. Yes, koozies would be an excellent one. Um, any of the things that write smaller text, you know, for fabric application, you know, uh, softer substrates. And you got all the other things, floor mats, and then of course you move to the hard sub substrate realm, and of course metal art now has gone viral. Exactly. So one of the great things about these two printers is in addition to the Condi support you'll receive from us, we have Epson's official blessing and support for sublimation. So the, in the event there's a problem that we can't solve over the phone in helping you in, also we do on-site on -site installation of this printer, we get in touch with Epson and they're on board with, with making this printer work properly, um, doing whatever it needs to get up and running uh, if there's a problem. And you can even buy um, extended service with the printer. So it, it's, a, it's sort of a dream come true to now have Epson on board with sublimation. Well, thank you, Mickey, for this introductory video, and I'm sure people got lots more questions, and how can they get in touch with you? Uh, they can reach me on the 800 number, 800-826-6332, extension 201. That is my direct line. Okay. Thank and you, If you David. already have a Condi rep, they'll get you in touch with Mickey and answer your questions for you. But again, thank you for watching. This has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Till we meet again.